So guys, today's video is our part two of the mega top list that is dedicated to some of the most popular perfume notes out there in which I'll be recommending you my most favorite fragrance options that are based on these notes. So keep on watching, maybe you'll see your favorite note. But in case, if that's not the case, make sure to let me know what it is in the commentary section and I'll film part three that is dedicated to your request. But there is also part one that you can check out after watching this video. Definitely make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you like this concept. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, check out the description box where you'll find all the health information and without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, basically the idea is to recommend you a unisex fragrance for different popular and my favorite perfume notes out there. If you asked me and I needed to go with a safe option, these would be the fragrances I would put on your radar. So let's get started with something delicious, something that is very yummy and very beautiful in perfumes such as honey. I have a top list dedicated to this note as to the majority of these. And for this video, I chose Baklava from Pearlescent Perfumes because this is a gourmand tree in a bottle that is very long-lasting, that smells amazing, and uh, honey in here is uh, glazing. It smells like honey on baklava dessert. There are some pistachio nuts in there, beautiful cherry juice, and it is so fresh, so blossoming. It's like the happiest summer day captured in a fragrance that is long-lasting, that has mind-blowing sillage, and when it comes to honey, it can be tricky because it is quite a thick note, but in here it is just so beautiful, truly gourmand, but not over the top, and I highly recommend you to check it out. Now let's talk about something a little bit boozy, and I like such fragrances, that's why I have uh, an episode dedicated to most beautiful alcoholy notes in fragrances. And for today's video, I decided to focus on whiskey. And in this fragrance, Foxy from DSH Perfumes, we also have the note of beeswax that goes well with the previous one like honey, but this is definitely on the animalic side. It is also delicious, a little bit with a fruity aftertaste. Whiskey in here is so good. Not too strong, but it definitely has that warming up, glowing feeling. And you guys, in case you like such boozy fragrances, you're looking for a night out fragrance, maybe for colder weather, this has been my favorite for such a long time. Who remembers me raving about literally years ago? This stuff is awesome and it is still one of my top favorites. So that's the one for the booze on today's video. Now let's talk about the smoke and tobacco. So this is the note that I like a lot, but I'm picky with it. And for today's video, I chose Memory Motel from Unui Nomad, a very beautiful niche brand with great fragrances. And this is the one that smells kind of smoky, that smells very warm, there is incarnation in here, and tobacco is smoky, but not too much. It smells very, I would say, nostalgic, it has this beautiful aura of being like in an old hotel or something, so this is the one I would say is definitely for those who can appreciate more of base notes, tobacco with almost like this leafy and slightly metallic, maybe minty, maybe cool aftertaste, although the fragrance has some decent amount of sm smoky sweetness. It's like chewy tobacco in a way, and you can get fragrances of this brand with my discount, so make sure to check that out. Um, so make sure to check them out, especially if you're in tobacco, that would be my recommendation for you. But in case you are more into, you know, this oriental type of fragrances, of course I need to talk about amber today, but I gotta be honest with you, it's not the note that I'm crazy about. However, I'm so head over heels about presenting amber. When Francesca Bianchi released this fragrance, I fell in love with it at first sniff. This stuff is so good, it is potent, it is rich and in you know, and it takes you so deep in. So it has booze, it has oriental aspects. This amber is slightly fruity, like think about nice roasted plum or something. It just has that beautiful, delicious quality. Like if you drank a beautiful glass of uh, warming and aged alcohol in the library or something. Very nice, not too Middle Eastern. This is 
amber with so many different facets this is actually quite a complex note and you can do so much with it but i need to recommend you this one and i have a discount in case you're interested in francesca bianchi perfumes they are awesome but now let's talk about something quite different let's talk about summery perfumes shall we so for this next fragrance um i chose three notes that it combines perfectly such as pineapple mango and coconut of course i could break them down but why should i if summer hammer from lorenzo pozzale i combined them so perfectly now this is definitely a vacation type of perfume or for those who crave you know that beachy vibe it has some rain notes written all over it mango in here is ripe together with pineapple they create very tropical atmosphere coconut is definitely adding to that part but this perfume is very fresh it definitely has that breeziness and it is super long lasting which is great especially if you're going on vacation and you just want to spray it in the morning and smell all day it's great for that but now let's talk about salty ocean and the note of salt in perfumes for that i chose my all-time favorite juliet has a guns vanilla vibes now it is kind of vanilla perfume and i've already covered that note in the part one because it's my favorite but i smell so much salt in here that i thought it's going to be very appropriate to recommend you this beautiful dusty vanilla with a lot of saltiness to it so it is contrasting i find that it is very essential especially in the summertime when your skin is um, glowy on you know the sunshine is beaming off it it's so beautiful if you like salt in perfumes but you don't want it to be too mineral in your perfume this is a gorgeous one plus vanilla is aphrodisiac i'm a huge fan of it it's my favorite and having so many different perfumes in my collection that are about vanilla i can tell you that it can be highlighted in so many different ways and this one is great for the summertime or if you want a beautiful attractive salty fragrance but with that being said now let's talk about something bright juicy also summary in my personal opinion because imaginary author sun drunk has been my or one of my most favorite citrus perfumes and i'm not crazy about those notes and fragrances probably that's why you don't see as many of them in this video as there are in perfumery but orange in here is just so juicy ripe you smell the peel you smell the inside just ripe it's like you're somewhere by the sea or you know it's a hot day and you order a cocktail and there is a lot of orange juice of course some other notes like rhubarb and flowers and it is so happy it's so optimistic it's so bright it is summery it is gorgeous and uh, being not a huge fan of such citrus word fragrances i find sun drunk is very special you can get it at so avant-garde with my discount keep that on your mind but now uh, let's get back to our deeper notes shall we so next is a leather and this is the note that i find can be a little bit aggressive i do have a fair amount of beautiful leather perfumes but i find the brand that should be checked out as number one when it comes to leather is the one that was inspired by it. so francesca bianchi has a lot of leathery options in her uh, general range like think about lover still and others you tell me what's your favorite but she created like a sister brand that is called hedonic that is dedicated to her obsession with the leather and this one divine perversion is my personal favorite because it smells like lipsticks that melted in a leather bag what could be better it has beautiful sweet side caramel with raspberry iris so edgy femme fatale like and at the same time very easy to wear and that beautiful animalic leather in the background nothing can beat that i have a discount check it out there are two other beautiful fragrances one is more vintagey another one is just more leathery but i like this best and i would definitely recommend you check it out especially if you are into those lipstick type of fragrances this is such a safe bet. but with that being said now let's talk about something clean and fresh the note of tea that i'm a sucker for i've already covered the counterpart coffee in the part one so if you're a coffee lover check out that one but i'm team uh, tea all the way have a lot of tea perfumes for today's video though i chose matcha meditation oh my god this one from Maison margiela is just like such such a beautiful realistic take on this very modern trendy 
and extremely delicious just yummy note of matcha tea in a bottle it's very leafy it's green it's full bodied it is not a simple tea perfume there are so many nuances first you'll get like a blast of matcha powder then more tea leaves it's fresh but with like very dusty abstract florals in the background and beautiful white chocolate mossiness in the dry down beautiful quite long lasting not the most simple tea perfume as they can be definitely one of my biggest favorites another clean type of fragrance would be a musky one and i have a lot of those too because i find they are cool but my number one favorite this year is sonic flower from room 1015 this stuff is so good i know that some of you purchased it because of me i have a discount that you can enjoy it with sonic flower is definitely an easy rich perfume that is comfortable to wear every day no matter where you go this perfume will work everywhere on everyone it is very casual and at the same time addictive so i started wearing and then there was no going back it has almost like this watery very abstract note of pear in the opening with some vegetal nuances of carrot seed and pink pepper then nice slightly um, woody orris root and white musk a lot of it push band broxen so sexy you guys the sillage the longevity sometimes i mix it with other perfumes and this one beats them all and i'm like what smells so good all right it's sony flower so lovely not floral in fact i would say it's rather on that woody musky side it's not the cleanest white mask but probably that's why i like it so much and recommend it to everyone oh my god you'll smell so good so attractive people ask me about it people buy because of me and yeah i'm super happy to turn you on it because it is super beautiful and one of a kind but at the same time it fits all of these trendy clean fragrances but with that being said let's talk about something deeper which is tonka bean now this is the note that i used to struggle with then i fell in love with it created a topless dedicated to tonka uh, bean fragrances for today's video though i chose my love at first sniff tonka cola from mancera i mean like this is such a fun fizzy type of uh, a fragrance that is delicious and mouth watering because it smells of cola drink for sure there is a note of cherry in there by the way would you like to see cherry in a part three let me know nice citruses in the opening beautiful for me it smells like christmas uh there are nice base notes of patchouli vanilla benzoin but of course tonka is in the center this is what this fragrance is about and this tonka is brilliant it is so well done i find that it's contemporary it is awesome tonka cola don't sleep on it in case you like this note or call i think you will be impressed with the quality with how realistic it smells it's gorgeous guys but with that being said now let's talk about the note that i had hard times with choosing a fragrance for because i don't have too many of mossy fragrances now this is definitely one of the most interesting and complex notes in perfumes it is a base note it is classy actually okmas absolute is banned but it is essential for um such you know extremely og style as uh shipra that you can interpret in modern ways whatever guys moss is awesome but i don't have a lot of mossy fragrance in my collection however this bad and sexy boy right here seaweed cat shipra from matt malik based in canada is one of the best oak moss perfumes out there you guys this stuff was like mind-blowing to me it changed my entire perception of shipra perfumes because i thought they are old-fashioned this smells kind of like as you put a modern filter on something old if that makes sense it has beautiful animalic freshness to it see that in here with oak moss with beautiful sultry flowers with a pop of freshness in the opening this stuff it is so gorgeous like high quality mixed to perfection oak moss in here is not like too foresty if you know what i'm talking about so it is just awesome i love it so much and i highly recommend it to the lovers of any malik shipper or oak moss fragrances now next up is the note of milk and i 
I'm just so obsessed with it. I have quite a few milky fragrances. For today's one, I chose the most realistic, the most real, the most authentic note of milk and perfume, which is in Chabot's Le Concentré. Perfume that smells of hot cup of milk, maybe with just a little bit of vanilla extract in there. It smells cozy. It smells so soft, it hugs you, it smells of condensed milk, it smells tender, it smells like baby, it smells so good. Perfect for layering. Oh my god, if you just need that touch of warmth and uh, something that is kind of protective, so nice. Like if you like truly milky, like, like tonic fragrances to the max, this is it. I mean like you won't need more milk, if you know what I'm talking about. This is very milky, very cool. That's why I wanted to mention in today's video. So yeah, it's awesome. And you can get perfumes from this brand with my discount. They have a beautiful vanilla, awesome chocolate, some gorgeous flowers, even more like vintage stuff. But if you love milk, you need this in your life. You'll thank me later for sure. It is quite a popular perfumes when it comes to the note of milk, but I have more recommendations that I covered in a top list dedicated to so just in case you're interested in all of that, check out the description box for more information. And now we have only two fragrances left, if I'm not wrong. One of them is dedicated to the note of violet in perfumes. And it is one of my most favorite flowers out there. I have several top lists dedicated to it. And violet for me is so special because first of all, it can be very powdery, which I'm there for. I like such powdery takes on violet, but it can be more than that. You can push and pull on it and mellow from Sora Dora is such a gorgeous like a fragrance from a dream basically it smells like a fairy tale it smells absolutely oh like mm, parma candies mixed with insolence and something a little bit like um that fragrance from Perfumes de Marley hold on this one but not as fruity not as Candy-like, oh my god, like Mallow is a fragrance that took me by surprise. I fell in love with it at first sniff and the more I smell it, more I loved it. This is just so amazing. Like this smells otherworldly. It smells of a fairy tale land, basically. It is so good. It is so amazing when it comes to violet. I thought about this one because it's more than violet, let's be honest. It has that drage quality, if you know what I'm talking about. So get it with my discount. You won't regret it. I promise you that in case you like violet. It's a must-have. But last, however not least, is a citrus fragrance. Surprise, surprise. And it is actually a lemon one. So to be honest with you, I probably have like three or four lemon perfumes in my collection and the one from Theodora's Calatine is a very affordable Greek niche brand that is called Lemon Tart is the one that deserves a spot in today's video just because you guys it smells of lemon zest, it smells of lemon sorbet, it smells of lemon ice cream on a beautiful buttery tart. It has a sugary whipped cream quality to it. Vanilla in here is beautiful, but that tart, like that nice lemonish touch is there too. It smells like lemon tart for sure. It is a gourmand lemon, probably that's why I love it so much. And don't think that it is very similar to Lyra from Casamorati, because some people compare them. I find that they are quite different. This one has like almost musky dry on, but not necessarily musky. I can't figure it out, but it is so awesome. So I thought it would be really cool to mention it because it is so affordable too. But on that note, that completed today's part two of some of the most popular and my favorite perfume notes out there and my perfume recommendations that highlight them in the most interesting way. Let me know if you have any questions left. Let me know your request for part three that is going to be dedicated to your questions, ideas, what you are interested in and more information where you can purchase some of these fragrances and save on them with my discounts are going to be down below. So please check out the description box, follow me on my social media, stay tuned, smell good, give this video a huge thumbs up, I would really appreciate that and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your time, make sure to stay tuned, smell good. We'll see each other in the next one really soon. Bye guys.